In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, cron job. You may not have heard that term before or you may have, I don't know. Um, but a cron command or it's basically a, it's a scheduled command that runs on your web server every so many minutes or on a predetermined schedule. So in order for us to successfully schedule a, an SSS, I'm sorry, an SMS message into the future, so if I, if, let's say I want to send this out um, uh, March 1st uh, instead, so I would um, select that date and time and um, make sure that I have the right, um, uh, now this is something that's important, you notice how I'm actually recording this at 6.24 p.m. Uh, or 6.23, you notice how it says 1.23? Um, that could be a problem because um, that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this and when you go down here to SMS scheduling uh, it'll tell you what your current time zone is and what the current time on the web server is okay so because this is a demo website I never took the time to set my um, time zone properly so if I click on uh, settings here a link is provided and then I want to go to time zone. Let's see. Where is it? Denver. I'm in Denver. You can also use the plus or minus, you know, a certain number of hours and that type of thing. Um, I think I'm minus seven or something like that. But I'll just set it to Denver. Save changes. Now, if I go back to SMS messages and click on a new message. Uh, you'll see that I can set the time that now it's 1825 so it's military time so 625 but uh, I can set it for let's say I want to set it for tomorrow at this time I can set OK type in my message hit schedule now the last thing you have to make sure is set up is your cron command now you only have to do this once you don't have to do this um, every message you set this up once, and you uh, and everything should happen uh, properly after that. Now, after you set it up, though, this message, this box will will remain here. Just because you set it up doesn't make this box go away, because it's really a totally separate process. Um, so the box will remain. Although, if you create a an SMS user uh, a user on your on your WordPress site that has a role of SMS user and they go to send, send a message they won't see this box okay so what you want to do is you want to copy this command right here okay and then you want to go into your hosting control panel and I'm going to use a control panel for um, that is cPanel now you probably recognize this there's a really good chance that yours looks a lot like this it's the most popular control panel out there I think but regardless of, of what control panel you have there should be a section on here for cron jobs and if I type in the word cron you'll see that it's coming up here or you can search for it on the page so if I go to my cron jobs now this particular hosting account uh, is not the same hosting account as my plugin isn't it's a I'm hosting it on dream uh, dreamhost this control panel is for another hosting company and however it doesn't matter um, because it is called the command can run from any almost any web server usually so um, what you do is you want to uh, I, I set my commands to run every up to every minute it won't hurt anything for this to run every minute uh, it is recommended that uh, I recommend that you set it as frequent as possible because if you schedule something and let's say you schedule it and you can only run it well if you only run it twice a day or once a day that means your scheduled messages won't go out until this command runs which looks like it's midnight so uh, we don't want to do that uh, so be be uh, careful what you choose <coughs> excuse me um, like I said, go for every minute if you can. Some web hosts limit you to every five minutes, possibly, or maybe every, you know, just keep that in mind. Usually five or 15 minutes, that should be fine. Uh, usually text messages, they don't necessarily need to go out the exact minute. Uh, if it's plus or minus 15 minutes, it's okay if you scheduled it for delivery on a, at a later date. But again, let's set it for every minute. 
so you can see it's every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every weekday. All right, and here's the command. This is what I copied from the plugin and I pasted right there. And I'm going to click Add New, and you'll see that uh, I have my new command down here. Okay, so um, that is how you set up a cron job in cPanel. It might be a little different in your control panel, but it should be basically the same. So what's going to happen um, is every minute the web server is going to run this command, and the curl command basically says uh, go pay, or grab this URL every minute. So it just grabs that URL. There really is no output, but what it causes is it, it causes your website to trigger the all the activity required to make everything run on WordPress. So um, uh, so that if no one's on your website, if there's no activity on your website, you're not logged into your site, and no one is going there, this web server is going there, and it is triggering all the SMS message commands needed for uh, for those things to go out at the proper times.